Pumps can be divided into two main category. Uh, one is uh, dynamic pump and then the um, other is uh, positive displacement pump. Dynamic pump, they work uh, primarily on the pressure difference. So um, if you look at this um, impeller, when they rotate this way, then there is vacuum created right behind the impeller vacuum space so it creates vacuum right behind the impeller these blades right behind that so you rotate very quickly this way and then the vacuum is created right here so the inside of the housing there is um, uh, the vacuum and then the outside say for example is in atmospheric pressure so higher pressure compared to here so the inside vacuum pressure created by the impeller action and then outside is basically if it's atmospheric pressure for example just open to the atmosphere so the outside is high pressure so the high pressure liquid is kind of go to the low pressure area and then that's how the flow um, happens so if this side is connected to a sump for example here um, the sump like this and then it's going to start pumping the liquid this way now this one is called centrifugal because of this you know as you can see the flow is in the centrifugal direction this one is called axial they works on the same uh, manner create vacuum inside now one thing uh, the biggest difference between a, a dynamic and a centri and the dis positive displacement pump of course the pressure um, thing that this dynamic pump work on vacuum creating vacuum pressure inside and the second difference if you look at the seal the impeller and the housing has a quite significant gap so basically just create some kind of vacuum here too there is some gap so you know between this uh, blade and the wall of this thing so um, so it's mainly creating some uh, vacuum inside and then just sucking the liquid in and pushing the liquid out that's how this thing works on the other hand positive displacement pump it is squeezes the fluid so if you look at this gear pump the fluid is trapped here here right sorry the fluid is trapped here so when this rotating this way like this so this fluid here is going to trap here, trap here, and then it will push all the way out like this. So this, uh, the, the positive displacement of fluid is trapped and then pushed out. So that's how the positive displacement pump work, not like creating a vacuum inside. Now, these two gears are meeting from meeting externally. That's why this is called external uh, gear pump this one external gear pump internal gear pump on the other hand is this one when you have one gear sitting inside another gear so the small gear sitting inside a big gear so that would be considered as a internal gear pump the gear pump and loop pump they're kind of almost exact same except how the um, gear looks like so in a loop pump gear looks more like a lobe but they work exact same. The lobe can be also internal too. This one is an external lobe. You can have internal, external, internal lobe uh, pump exactly look like this. Just instead of gear tooth, it may have this lobe. A screw pump, this one. Similarly, the screw gaps here, the fluid is trapped inside the screw gap and then is pumped uh, that way. Vein pump, same thing instead of gear you got veins now these veins when because of the motion so if this thing is rotating very heavily these veins comes out so the vein width the actual vein width is this this is the vein width let's say l the vein width now this vein comes out because of the centrifugal action when this thing is connected to a shaft and then it rotates this way so this fluid coming here is trapped here fluid trapped here trapped here and then get out like that so this is also a positive displacement pump now you see that balanced bend pump unbalanced bend pump basically 
we can change the eccentricity of the palm so this rotor can move can be moved this way and change the extra eccentricity of the palm to make it kind of balance or not balance so for a balanced one the rotor must be fixed for a unbalanced pa vein palm uh, we could change the vein also the rotor which um, so the rotor position is not fixed so we can change the eccentricity um, uh, of this rotor so here the max eccentricity is this but we can change that to change the flow rate and then it will be called an unbalanced vein pump a balanced vein pump is more like a fixed rotor vein pump piston pump is basically a piston like your car engine or an injection syringe that doctors use exactly like that so this also pushes liquid out there could be two different types of configuration it could be can arrange a bunch of pistons in a radial configuration like this or it could also arrange the piston something uh, like an axial configuration like that so if this shaft is rotating like this and then this is bunch of pistons so this is one piston this is another piston, one piston, another piston, another. so a bunch of pistons connected on actually with the shaft. That's why it's called axial piston. Here is connected with radial position mainly. So there is the shaft and you get some eccentricity here too. Without that, the flow cannot go. So this is the rotor, the inside one. This one is the rotor. This is the cam, like your vein pump. This one is the cam and then it's if it's rotated this way then this offset will actually change the displacement of the piston to make the flow so basically if the piston is arranged in a radial position they're like that if it's an axial position it placed and it's called axial piston